Good morning, good people, or whenever you join me today, the afternoon, the night, whatever. I'm just glad you're here. So really quick, uh, I told you this is the month of love and Black History Month. So thank you so much for joining me. Just want to be before you real quick. So I was thinking the word wide open came to me. I don't know why, like, you know, I try to talk to God every day when I hop on these videos uh, about what he wants me to talk about. And the word wide open kept coming to me. Now, I know he wanted me to talk about being open and honest. And he brought me back to a conversation that I had yesterday with one of my homegirls. So I just want to let you in on that conversation and get out your way. All right. So uh, you guys know that I'm doing a vision board to build our perfect man. I know it sounds crazy, but we can do it. We can do it. If you've ever constructed a vision board, I keep saying it. If you've ever constructed a vision board, you can absolutely build your man and you can find one or he'll be attracted to you. Right. And so... One of the quick, uh, things that I was talking to her about yesterday when she was looking at my video from a couple of days ago is that she was like, it was some stuff you said. Like one of my other homegirls was like, hey, there's some stuff you said that was like, why would you say that? You know, when I was talking about, you know, when you gain weight and your stomach is hanging, you got a fupa and it's in the way of you having sex. You can't comfortably have sex because you're you're big, right? And I've experienced that. And so... You know, I remember growing up, my mom, I would always add shock value to what I was saying when I said it because my mom would be like, Reagan, why did you say that? Or you don't need to say that or you shouldn't say that. But gone are the days of things that we should not say. I believe those very things that we don't talk about hold us back in every area of our life. And so I choose to be wide open. I choose to be relatable. I choose to want to talk about those things because guess what? I don't want to have those same problems going down the street. Right. And so there's going to be a lot of things that I talk about. And I'm listen to me when I did my first um, vision board uh, event for Serena Holloway in her class. I was very open. <laughs> I shared some things that I didn't think I was going to share. But God said it's time like it's time. You know, I've been doing this for almost 10 years. And I have a lot of women that confide in me. A man as well, but I have a lot of women that confide in me about a lot of things that go on personally in their lives, right? And thank God for that, that they trust me to even talk to me when they, especially a lot of them don't know me. Uh, but I appreciate that. But one thing that I am noticing is there are a lot of women that are cheating on their husbands. They are. There are a lot of women that are unhappy in their marriages. There are a lot of women who don't know their purpose in life. And when you don't know the purpose in your life, you will not be able to operate at a high capacity. I believe, this is just my belief, if you don't know the call on your life from God and being able to actively operate in that, you will truly not be happy. And I'm not even talking about having a man. I'm talking about knowing what God wants for your life and actively operating in that thing. I believe that makes you happy. And matter of fact, I believe it because that's what happened to me, right? When I totally immerse myself and not even immersed because I still haven't <laughs> done everything I need to do. But when I got into what God asked me to do and told me to do, then I started being a lot more happier. And so when I'm functioning at that level, I can function better for my mate, right? Yes, I can be his help me because I know my position. I know what I'm doing. And so I can encourage him to do the same, right? Because men need encouragement. They want encouragement. They crave it, right? And so that's a part of being a help me. But there's a lot of things that we don't talk about, uh, that we secretly talk to people about. And I have a lot of people come to me and say, Reagan, I can tell you anything because you don't judge me. And guess what? I can't judge you. God showed me a long time ago two things. And I talk about this all the time. He showed me that we're supposed to love everybody because a lot of us don't know what love is. And we really haven't experienced like love for real, like love, love for real. What we think is a feeling we haven't really experienced love and especially the love of God. And so we, I, he, told, he told me that we have to love one another. The other thing is when I had a really bad problem with jealousy years ago, he showed me you should never be jealous of anybody because they all have problems. We all have a story. We all have stuff going on that we would take to our grave. We won't talk about it. But those very things that we don't talk about are hindering our relationships. They're hindering our growth as a person, right? And a lot of the times if we don't take care of those things, we will not be able to be in a successful relationship, right? And so I want to come and talk about those things that people don't talk about. And I'm going to listen, I'm going to get raw, super raw. And, and 
talk about things, even in my marriage, the feelings that I was having. A lot of people don't know that I didn't have sex for five years. And he was home. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of men. It's like, it's a lot of sexless marriages and nobody's talking about that. Nobody is talking about that, right? Because they're ashamed and they want to make everything look good. Oh, we got the big house. We're building houses. We got cars. We have money. Uh, we got all of this stuff, but yet you're cheating. He's cheating. Y'all don't know how to, uh, y'all look good on the outside, but on the inside, when you come home, you can't even relate to one another. You go to your room, he goes to his, right? And let me be very clear when I say this. I absolutely love marriage. I loved being married, but I didn't know what the what marriage was. I didn't. I did not know. I didn't know how to date. That's why I hired a dating coach. So when I come and talk to you, I'm talking to you from experience. And what I don't know, I know people who know, right? And so I'm going to well equip you to make sure that you have a well-balanced life, but it starts with you. And it starts with a real conversation. It starts with... Quit trying to please people on the outside and make it look good. And you're not happy. You're not walking in your purpose with God. You're not doing what you're supposed to do, right? So we're going to talk about that and build a man. It's an all around course. Listen, and I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it because I want to free some people up from hiding. Stop hiding. Stop being secretive. Because every God showed me everybody has problems. Everybody. There's not one person walking the earth that does not have a problem. It's just not. And especially in marriages. Let me be very clear. So, you guys, listen. If you cannot make it to Houston, Texas on March the 4th, I'm getting ready to come out with an online course. I'm going to talk about it all. I'm going to talk about it all. There's nothing off the table. There's nothing off the table. I'm going to talk about it all. For me being single, some things I've done, some things I've said that I had no business. Listen, no business. But I'm going to talk about it because I'm going to free somebody else up, especially in the Christian community. <laughs> because you want to say that, you know, we're saved and everything, but you you feel like, okay, well, this the the me wanting to be touched and me wanting to be, you know, pleased and have sex goes away. It absolutely does not. I'm ready to bust something open. Stay ready. Low key. I'm just saying, and yes, we can pray, but those feelings don't go away. They don't go away, especially if you hit 40, you'd be wanting to hit everything. But nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about being in a marriage that you're not having sex. And if you're having it, it's not good. And that you've had these emotional affairs. Nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about it, but I am. I am. I am. Because it's okay to say I'm not happy. What can we do to fix it? What can we do to fix it? Now, one thing I will never do is tell you to leave your marriage. I don't do that. But one thing I do know is God has spoken to you about a lot of different things. He has. And you just have to be obedient, whether that means stay or go. And sometimes if you don't go or if you don't stay, that has an impact on your calling and your effectiveness in the world. Ask me how I know. So anyway, I'm going to hop off here. You guys have a blessed day. It's time to get wide open. <laughs> it's time to get wide open and have those conversations. Listen, nothing is off the table. Like I'm ready. Like I'm ready. I'm ready for women to come in and be just butt naked. Uh, not physically butt naked, but their raw emotions about what's going on in their life so we can get healed, man. Because the stuff we don't talk about, we harbor. We harbor, yet we, and listen, there's some stuff that we have, we've done as women that we will be ashamed. Do you understand me? Ashamed to talk about, but we're going to talk about them. Because nine times out of ten, somebody else done done it. Listen, when I share my story with a lot of people, they be like, for real, Reagan? I'll be like, yeah, girl. Yeah. And it's okay. And God still loves you. And we can hop back on this thing and fix it. As many, because the, the, what does the Bible say? The righteous man falls seven times, and I may even have that wrong. But we're going to, listen, because you are saved, and even if you're not saved, I'm talking to saved right now, but even if you're saved, you're still going to mess up. You're still going to sin. The, the, uh, listen, that's why Jesus was born, to help cover that, because he knew he was going to jack up. That's why he was born, right? And so we need him. Our sin and our, and our lustfulness and all that stuff, we need him daily. We can't go nowhere without him. We just cannot. For those who are not saved, um, I do. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But I'm going to always come from a safe person, uh, a safe aspect, because I am safe. And I, But I still make mistakes. I still sin. Let's just be clear. Okay? Not perfect. Not perfect over here. I'm going to always talk to you from my experience. I'm going to always talk to you about my experiences. And I'm going to always want to hear your experiences so we can say, why is that holding you back from doing what you're supposed to do? Right? Exactly. Right? Why are we overweight? Huh? Why, 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 why do we uh, drink so much? Why do we smoke so much? Why do we feel like we need to have or something? What are we not talking about that's going to free us? Good morning, Jasmine. What, what are we not talking about that's going to free us to go to the next level? Because I'm tired of faking. God does not want you to fake your life anymore. He doesn't. He wants you to get healed, whole, so you can live your best life from the inside out on and in purpose. That is what I'm here for, to push you. Get out of your own way. This is out of your way for your purpose and out of the way from having a successful marriage and out of your way for having getting married and attracting and keeping that man. Because let me be very clear. My husband is coming quickly. God has already shown him. But I have to be in position as you do too. And if you're married, you still need to be in position because there's some things that you and your husband have got to do for the Lord and in the earth to make an impact from the inside out. That's my church. That's what our church logo slogan was, right? So I'm pro marriage. I love marriage. Like I said, I love being married and I want to see whoever wants to get married to get married because I am. I'm getting my dress ready, <laughs> right? Like I told y'all the other night, I'm wife material. I'm not girlfriend material. I'm wife material, right? I, I am. And so we're going to talk about those things. So guys, sign up for the class if you're coming here to Houston in March. If not, it will be an online class nothing's off the table we're talking about it all so come listen you can come and be a spectator if you want to but you're not going to want to because we're going to come and get freed up in that thing you hear me <laughs> so we can go to the next level it's time out for playing it small and i'm talking to myself you guys have a blessed day this is your girl reagan adams with all things reagan and reagan says i think it i see it i do it you guys have a good one bye